Far too often, UMass men's basketball senior Freddie Riley has had to turn a heavy heart into motivation. One of my friends got killed my sophomore year here, and then most recently, my, uh, my cousin got, got murdered January 1st, 2012, and that's why I changed my number to number 23, because he was 23 years old, and um, we were really like brothers. We grew up together, played basketball together all the time. I was around him when he got his first dunk ever. And, uh, you know, we just really grew up together. We only apart one year, so I just changed my number to, to honor him. The day after his hometown friend Antonio T.J. Gordon was shot and killed in January 2011, Riley went off for 18 points in a win at Charlotte. His coaches and teammates didn't know the weight he was carrying until after the game. We were in the room because we were roommates on the road, and he told me that uh, his friend got killed. And he didn't know if he wanted to play or not, but he said he was going to play anyway. And, uh, he just went out there and played a good game. Now a senior entering the stretch run of his college career, Riley turned in a similar performance on January 5th against Eastern Michigan, knocking down five three-pointers in a three-minute, 41-second span to help the Minutemen close out a 10-3 non-conference slate with a victory. Three again. Another one splashes in for Freddie Riley's fifth three-pointer of the first half. Riley finished the game with six triples the third time he's accomplished that feat at UMass. Every shot seems a lot closer than it actually is. Like, I was looking at uh, some of the highlights from last game, and I didn't realize that I was shooting so far away. So <laughs> everything just seemed closer. When he first came to UMass, Freddie was a raw talent who struggled with being 1,200 miles away from his hometown of Ocala, Florida. Four years later, he sees a more well-rounded Freddie Riley. I came in as just a shooter. My defense wasn't too good, and you know I just played because I could shoot good. So now I see I'm, uh, I've changed. I've become more of a leader for my younger teammates because I'm the oldest guy on the team in terms of age, and I just take pride in defense a lot more now. And head coach Derek Kellogg sees a 23-year-old who's all grown up. All the things that I think we've tried to instill in our team and our program, Freddie's been a great example of growing up, of maturing, and not letting some of the things that don't really mean too much really affect you. And um, it's, happy, it's good to see him really walk around with a smile on his face. And a kid that now I think will be successful uh, in life after basketball, whether it's playing professionally overseas, whether it's having a chance to play professional. But more importantly, I think Freddie's in a position where he could, uh, he could get, a, get a job and really provide for a family. I was happy that I was able to, to get away from home and come to college and experience something new because that's not something a lot of people get a chance to experience where I'm from. But um, I'm just I'm just thankful for the experience and um, I wish my I wish my fam my family could see me play more and everything. But I know this is it's a good reason I'm up here, so I don't really worry about it too much. For UMass Sports Insider, I'm Cody Cruchel.